Hey guys, this is your girl Stacy Dash. Welcome back to our show once again. And I'm with my girl Latifa Tago, and this is the Chaotic Show. So today I just have a few questions for my girl Stacy, and she also has a few questions for me. And the first question is going to be Have you ever been dumped or ghosted? Um uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't <laughs> I've never been dumped but I've been ghosted before and then after being ghosted this guy now came back again Akitaka conversation then I was like brah you're a ghost to me so you are dead Tunakwacho kwa six feet under I I'm not taking that shit no more if you can't if you can't uh, commit yourself emotionally, physically, yeah. then I don't think I can I can be able to accommodate you a second time. So for me, you ghost me, even if you're a friend, that's a done deal. So let me ask you guys, um, if you get ghosted or dumped, do you feel the need of still talking to this guy afterwards? Or what is the best move? Is it to move on, block them, or try to just stay friends what do you think guys just leave your comments the only reason i'm gonna (laughs) crave for you is if you are giving me some money (laughs) this girl loves money you love money too i love money i am kiko you guys so you know you know the vibes you know how it goes how far have you ever gone okay like distance wise like traveling or something because of either love or because you were digmatized Way. Either <laughs> or. Could be either or. You know, us girls, we think, are a bit um, weird and psycho. No, I'm not a psycho, but. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so, so I, I feel like um, for. I think I've traveled far and beyond just to. Nenda Juja. Kuna mtu liko nasamali. Naski niliona kwa TikTok alisema alienda hadi Juja manze na hata akupewa shoes. We okay I'm not talking about being big matters. I'm talking about love. Yeah. <laughs> so um but you see love matters. I've just traveled far and beyond for that purpose. And yeah, that's the much I've done honestly for love and also I've been somewhere that um no there is no gain basically yeah. you're just there because of pure love you know like when you look at this relationship honestly you're not really getting anything that you're just getting emotional maybe you um, are deepmatized they come hand in hand <laughs> right guys so, being with someone that yeah. you care about that you have feelings for that you're just there irregardless of whatever. Yeah. Yes, I can't. I know what love is, babes. No, she doesn't. I know. I know what love you is. Don't. What? <laughs> Say love you. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> no? Okay. Sour. Hmm. Um, Stacy Dash. Yo. Wait. What is your worst experience clubbing in Kilimani? Um, I like hanging out with my girls. So mm-hmm. most times I'm out, I'm with my girls. Okay, we are yeah. all, we are like four. So when you, you when you go to a club, and um, we are just the four of us, there's a certain way we are treated by the waiters that I don't like. Yeah, and it's because I don't know they think I don't know why they always think we have an agenda. Like, we are there, I don't know, to look for guys. And we're just people who went to the club to have fun, Bana. We are spending our money. We've worked, we've worked, but the whole garden week and then we came to Mesema. You know what, guys? To the out? Yeah. To to a pressure. And then these idiots. Okay, sorry. These people, they'll just look at you and I don't know. They can't, they'll treat you some type of way. I don't know how to explain that treatment because so, it's I normally think, so irritating. Oh my god! I know, I know. So I, f- I feel like um, she's trying to say, you know, the problem with Kilimani is this, yeah. 
most like 90% of the girls going out, they are out hunting. So this affects even the girls who are not outside hunting. Who are generally hunting, outside are generally because outside. they want to have fun. Yeah, literally, it's, we, spoiled. it's not Everything. like we are manage like that yeah. but when we decide to go out we always have a plan a budget even we plan prior everything is planned so, so we've booked the we're table not going blindly. we know the drink we mm. are having how long we'll be there yeah and it's a weekend because most of the time is the weekend because mm-hmm. most of us are working monday to friday so you get there you want to just have your fun relax no pro, no issues with people and just go home, right? Release the energy But there is from this the situation week. where it, it feels almost like you're being categorized into this. You're being profiled. You're being profiled. That's, that's the, the word. Yeah, that's you're the being word. profiled for... So it becomes really hard to honestly have fun nowadays in the clubs. And that's why and I'm telling you. And it's not even the clubs. You Actually, remember when even, I was telling you? Even when you go to restaurants... Like especially we can't, we yeah. can't dine, we can't just wine and dine without being without profiled. Being profiled yeah. Just because other girls have decided to um <laughs> Kwari Bujina, Kwari Bujina, was was China. anyway. So, so I'm just thinking out loud. Like, like even when I'm when I go to like dinners with, with the girls, I'm normally so insecure because I'm like thinking okay what now what are these people thinking about us like it, it really gets to my head and i really hate that yeah but anyway you guys should stop especially those people who serve in clubs and 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 uh restaurants you know it's not everybody who has that same agenda some of us just want to live good yeah you know catch vibes so i think and... i've asked you a question that i wish you asked me which one the same thing, clubbing. Or the you know, club sometimes yeah. you you club in Kilimani and you're with your girls, and even waiters have the audacity to give you to come to you and tell you, uh, Ule mtu anataka namba yako. Hey, imagine at uh, our, at our, our security, security. Yeah. Uh, an exchange number. You're like, what's happening? You at know? a security, then, like I think the there's an inside like, business. It's like an inside thing that so it it feels like. Uh, unakuja unaeleza ati nipe namba yako ule ule ile bazu anamwita bosi 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 anataka namba yako so you like annoying. give me a minute did i come here is it for written on my forehead in okay. my yeah. i'm i'm looking i'm looking for raman you know so it's it's just very disrespectful and it's very annoying but anyway let's leave that alone it really, I hate it so much. Yeah. I, I really do hate it. So anyway, so girl, my sexy girl. Hey. <laughs> Stop looking at me. So if you could change anything in the past year, what would it be? Um, if I could change anything in the past year, what would it be? Yeah. Do you know something funny? The past year, year, like generally, has been one of my best years. Oh yes, I can attest to that. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it has been my most abundant year, and. I honestly, I'm not capping, but I honestly feel like everything has happened in my favor throughout the year. Mm-hmm. I'm even scared sometimes. I'm like, what is about to go down that's going to crash me? You know, Please when show everything us. is going Where do you so face well, when you pray? I'm telling you, Where this manifestation you is real. So I'm just like, what is it that's going to happen that's mm-hmm. going to bring this all these things yeah. down and make it make sense and i'm just praying to god that mm-hmm. there is nothing yeah you know it's and just it's just being blessed and, and being naturally happen- it's happening naturally and natural you know mm-hmm. so of course i've had my ups and downs financially emotionally and all that but it has all played out in my favor at the end so i don't know do you have anything you want to change um what world would I want to change? Um, I think nothing. So far, so good. Things have happened also for me. I know what I want to ch- I have remembered what I want to change. I have remembered. <laughs> 
Stacy's birthday was September 7th. And last year, we discussed that this year her birthday will do it outside the country. And we didn't manage to travel outside. So life happens. Life happens. But that is life. the one thing I wish we could have managed life. to do. Travel outside. Yeah. And I just actually explore. forgot it was my birthday because I was so bored. <laughs> yeah. And angry and mad at myself because I couldn't give myself what <sighs> I wanted. But um, here we are. We live and we? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we live and we move on. We just move. Yeah, right? we just move on just move. and plan for something better next time. Yeah. Or it doesn't really have to happen with in or around my birthday. Maybe we can go, uh, no, no December, maybe January. Yeah, so that's the only yeah. thing that I wish uh, we could have done. And that's with you. So, yeah. yeah, anything else doesn't matter. Next time. So, what is your worst sex experience, baby girl? Latifa, new way. Kufa. New way, new way, new way, Mimi. Kufa. <laughs> Guys, what kind of question is this guy at this particular time of the hour? Hey, Jamani. Aki. Oh, oh yes. Uh-huh. My worst was, I really, really. Ukjana. Ukjana. I mean, in Giza box with Zuri, Yani, name him Tamani, Killa Kitu. Yani, you know, you can just Tamani someone, then you're also, you're just dripping, mm-hmm. even without having to see, like, physically, or having to meet that guy physically. Yeah. Like, you're ready, and then he gets there. Manzata, one second, Equisha. Whoa. I saw Walali in Pakatu Chafu. I swear to God. One one second, I wish. I, 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 this, that's my worst day. I regret that day. I regret giving that guy a chance. And I, after that day, I just told him to get the fuck out of my house. I am done. I don't ever want to see you. And got blocked. And that was the end of me. When he fought, I can't You should die, Kisasa. Mimi Mimi I mean, hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I God forgive me. Even you, even you, gay, whatever you are, you're naked too. Unajujua. I'm watching. Me too. Nili waste up a body count, Germany. Ah, yo. Anyway. So you, let me ask you. Have you ever seen a happy couple? Mm-hmm. And then. <laughs> And then you just feel like ruining that relationship. Wow. <laughs> okay, not ruining it per yeah. se. Like just having a taste of what that girl is having. I feel like uh, someone has seen mine and felt that. I feel like it's the other way around. Because I am very uh, sensual and um, in a J descriptive mm. when I praise anyone I'm dating on how good they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I know you know. So whoever I've been with, my girls know how good they are or bad. I we don't know me, I don't know. You know I don't know. <laughs> so I am not even there. <laughs> um I have luck with you know men who are good on that side. So I have not felt the need to be with somebody who was somebody so far. I haven't, but I have admired a couple genuinely and be like, I wish I can yours have such was, a yours was like that. Uh, genuine, you know, situation like this. Yeah. And I have also like tried to redo something I've seen with others to like never copy works. what they are doing. It never works. It will backfire it will because, backfire you're, because not you're not the same different people, people as them. So. Yeah. But ruining it, no. Just Okay, not yeah. ruining it. Because if you're gonna ruin it, 
it's like you're gonna do it openly but if you do it discreetly no you're not ruining anything because even if <laughs> you see <laughs> it's disgusting you know what i'm saying like i don't know what you're saying stacy you're saying you're going to ruin the relationship discreetly. no what are you it's saying? not ruining it if nobody knows oh my god okay i, I need to get out of this conversation um, stacy anyway love or money um I've tested love without money and honey let me tell you money then love okay let nobody lie to you it's money and then love they go okay money first then love love will come later okay you can grow in love with somebody but after you've known he has money or she has <laughs> money so i feel like basically because it's mm-hmm. not just one sided even yeah. for me as or a lady a got to have money for that relationship to work and he also got to have money for the relationship to work cuz there's not if you're dependent once mm-hmm. you're depend that one side is dependent to the other then there, there's no balance there's I no... disagree oh you know why because so love then money no money then love what what you said about i need to also have money that is not true i don't need to i feel like if i am holding down the household and no, everything not having well, money i'm not said, having money as a woman i don't mean you should be contributing to the oh, relationship she's, she's girl, girl she's, okay, okay. your money is not for contribution to the relationship it's your money is for you it's such that have, uh, yeah when you want something you ask the guy he doesn't deliver he needs to understand or he needs to know that either way you got yourself you understand that buys you some sort of respect i it feel doesn't. i feel like maybe sometimes it does it doesn't it has been proven even when you have money and a man chooses not to respect you they will not and that's so, why very rich women are being one aqua and Barrest, out here. Here. Respect, because money respect. does not buy respect for women wait wait i have this theory money mm. does not buy respect for women but it does for men a man with money is almost guaranteed respect at a kama ni fala you get but for a woman who has a pesa and a small boy will show you pepe it's because you allow the small so, boy to show no, you pepe it's not allowed. normally you we cannot, allow them you to cuz let me tell you uh, let me you. tell you a small you boy for someone why would you be with you? a small boy who doesn't respect you it that means boy. no I just that, that means as an example that no, no, means no, no, no. you gave I him the leeway to disrespect you Acha ni kwambie Miss Jo kwambie ununue respect. Miss Jo someone ununue respect Chill. but Chill. don't 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 lower yourself because at a eh? I'm Yo. saying I don't mean it like that. I'm saying even your husband can still disrespect you even if you have money because a you man disrespect me you're out the person they love. You are It's out. simple as that. If a man does not love you he will not respect you. Doesn't matter you're the out. age. Simple. So You mean you don't respect me? <laughs> honey boo boo? You okay? No, not in my world, honey. Sour. <laughs> See you know. Question for me. See you know. Question for me. It doesn't work like that in my world anyway. So, girl, what's your plan for the next five years? What would I say to my 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 regrets past year and my plan next five years? Go watch up on the stress. <laughs> Plan young, that's why it's my plan. It's not nobody's business. That's my plan. Okay, fine. Since I want to put it this way, make it our business. So, at what age do you think um a woman should get married or and have kids or either or? Twenty one and above. You're free to get married, but marry up. tafakari hayo yeah always marry up so don't marry if, down or marry someone you if you get the right person with. 21 and above you can marry because i feel at around 21 most girls have finished a uh, university mm. or school but the ideal age actually it's 25 because after university you want to at least uh, maybe 
travel the world, do this, do that. Most people, when they get married, immediately they start getting babies and they are not able to explore the world. So 25 is the ideal age, honestly. To do what? To get married. It's the ideal age. To get married. You are in between. You are as fertile as it as you can be. Your body is ready as it can be. M- most likely you finished your school. Most likely you, you don't have a job. You, most likely, I'm just saying. You, most you, likely you don't, you don't even have, have a business. Ex- no, no, no. You're a woman. Why do you need all that? You're marrying up. You'll be fine. No. So you'll be fine. No, 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 no. no. So me when Stand I'm down. getting this <laughs> is <laughs> we are talking about <laughs> stop <laughs> stressing me. Uta editi kitu by the way. We are talking about um as a woman, our anatomy and how life is ideally supposed to be. At 25, is ideally the best age. Because most of us, to be mazashule, to be employed at least for a year. If not, to be or we tried something or we traveled. So if you've still not done this, you can wait longer. But before 30 is best. But if you're 30, don't worry. There's still time. You can still get married. The issue is the complications. Zakuza, and all that freezing your eggs and it's just a bit harder but it's not impossible that is my thinking anyway my thinking is i don't think there should be um any age limit or any any limitation or how can i put it See limitation like, practicality yes it doesn't matter but that's my thinking so my thinking yako so my thinking is no practicality. See, my see thinking wishing. is you're wishing. It's not wishing. My thinking no, you want is you to get married when you're sixty. It happens if yeah. Of course I, it happens. It happens. But getting your kids at sixty and you want to play with them in kindergarten or What's the hurry for? See, it's my life, my kids, my journey, my everything. I don't care about the society. The society will judge. will judge you by the end of the day. You don't to play day. with your kids. But I don't feel like us as women you should to nafa. Okay, me I'm talking practicality, but you you're saying check it ideally. So me view zako. So check me some view zango. It's practical. This is my thinking. Remember keyword. My, it's not your thinking, it's your wish. It's my thinking. It's your wish. In an it's ideal world, I wish we can have up till we are 80 before we can have kids. I'm not saying you wait up till you're 80. I'm just saying don't put yourself in a fucking timeline that's going to maybe limit you to do so many things and end up regretting. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's my thinking. Like, live life. If you want to live life, live life. Like, literally, when they, they, we, uh, um, we always say, yeah, <clears throat> there's time for everything. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, if I try to get a child when I'm, uh, when I'm what, 21? Yeah? 21, I'm going to university, right? Yeah. Or college or wh- whatever. At that particular moment or time, obviously, sin a job. To go to the economy. I'm not 25. I'm not going to be smart. Sour. No, I'm not going to be smart. Sin a job, obviously. I'm not going to be smart. 25. Obviously, sin a kazi. Hakuna kazi, Kenya. No, so, we are swimming up on a kazi. We are, we are, we are, so I'm not going to be smart. To think like uh, practically, it is the dog. I mean, some are practical. So practically, I'm 25. They are not. You, you're lucky. You don't know how many 25 year olds are out there without even 25 year olds, 30 year olds out there. Not, I want a kazi. But there are also 30 year olds who have jobs. I want a kazi. But there are those. Who but have. the more are the ones that don't have kazi. So my point is. Don't limit yourself. You want to get married at you want to get married. You are good life. You want to get married at 40, sure. go get married if at 40. A, let me, let if me, you feel like you want to get married this, at 21 to a, to a rich guy. Allow me. me I'm saying I'm giving all the options. Getting married. If you want to get married at 21 to, to a Nednoko somewhere, girl, go for it. Let nobody stop you. You know, secure the bag, buy the Ferrari. <laughs> Listen to me. 
you know that's why i'm saying marrying up is because even women with careers wish they can marry up and stop working i'm telling you this for free so if you get the right person you can always focus on what you actually love if it's even tailoring art dancing anything you love you can do it if you are able to find the best person to get married to Dr. kitambo some girls they were even not kitambo even now there's some people communities they marry off their kids so that they can have a good, great future in fact they prioritize marriage instead of career because they know sometimes marriage can be your path instead of pursuing these careers anyway i'm just saying can you find your rich husband so i i will find my rich yes, husband find her rich yes. husband i'm single so go single stacy stacy hey smash or pass fali ipupa oh god i'm gonna <laughs> smash baby yo mon chéri mon yo. toi <laughs> Mimi na kwambia hivi ninaingia naenda French classes ndio nize communicate hey, na yeye. Hey. Falipo pa guys. Guys. Ha ha. Felicitations. Stupido. <laughs> anyway guys, um that should be the end of uh, the show. Thank you for tuning in. Ebumba ja smash or pass. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uhuru wa Maruto. <laughs> Wewe ibu tafanya itafanya ni ni gasha guama sakaja So guys thank you for watching and again my name is Latifa Tago you can follow me on Instagram TikTok Latifa Tago 673 and my girl Stacy Dash and this is the Chaotic <laughs> Show bye besties <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah